Okay guys, Alex here. We're back for the uh, niche journey. Uh, I think this is video three. Um, what we're going to do in this video is some basic stuff into advanced stuff. Basic WordPress and hosting setup into advanced on-page optimization for niche marketing. So we're going to set up the hosting. I'm literally going to go over the shoulder as I log into HostGator, change my uh, DNS in, in GoDaddy, and install WordPress. Then we're going to do some on-page optimization. We're going to optimize the site for the niche that we're targeting. We're going to add the first article, and then we're going to optimize that first article as well. All right, so let's get right into it. Okay, guys, here we are inside our GoDaddy account, and this is the second time I'm shooting this part of our video. You know why? Because I shot the first series, and then I look at the domain name, and I realize I spelled it wrong. That's how stupid I am, and I still make money online. You guys can do it also. Uh, so I had to change the domain to ouranxiety.com instead of healing anxiety. You can see it's created 1010. So this is brand spanking new, okay? I know I'm hosting with HostGator, so I'm going to change my name servers to the name servers HostGator gave me. Just like that. Okay, uh, why is that not working? Weird. Okay, save it. Save that bad boy. All right, now we're going to log into my HostGator cPanel and we're going to install WordPress. All right, so I already have domains in this uh, account, so this is going to be an add-on domain for me. Go back to GoDaddy, grab the domain name, and we're going to throw it in here. If you didn't see what I just did back there in the cPanel, I just went down here and clicked on add-on domains. So we put in the domain name, pick a password for our FTP. probably want to jot down this and the password we're going to add this domain all right only takes a few seconds we're going to go back and now uh, since our name servers are pointed and we've added this ad as an add-on domain we can install WordPress so uh, I don't know what this special offer is. I'm just going to go down to my normal thing that I do, which is a quick install. Uh, click on WordPress, continue. I'm going to find our domain name, which is our anxiety. And I'm just going to make this up for now. I will go back and make this domain name, or excuse me, this email address later. Healing R All right, let's install. So you can see I just changed the name servers a couple minutes ago. Let's see if that even refreshed on GoDaddy's screen. Yep, okay. So this is probably not ready yet, but let's try. Nope, see it is not propagated yet. I think that's the word. Um so we will wait a couple minutes, come back and log into WordPress, pick a theme, install WordPress rather, um, install a theme, and then optimize the site. All right, it's been about five minutes and the website is ready to go. So let me grab my password and I will go back and change this later for all you trying to hack our brand new site and steal all of its non-power <laughs> alright first thing I'm going to do here guys uh, I'm going to change the permalinks the post name save that I'm going to add a plugin for the metadata now I use Yoast and all in one SEO. I use them interchangeably. I use them both all the time. I don't prefer one or the other. I think Yoast actually has the advantage or the edge right now. But it really doesn't matter. I talk to people who use both and I've been perfectly happy with both. I don't see any difference in, any, in either of them. Um, so let's go to general settings. Let's 
Excuse me, to turn this on. Home title. Okay, so our anxiety. Our website, the main key we're going after is a nocturnal panic attacks. So in the title, I want it to be overall, I want it to be broad, okay? Because very seldom is a website so niched down to be about one tiny little topic. So Google wants to see a broad overview of what the site's about. Um, so healing anxiety, or excuse me, our anxiety, I'm just gonna use the old healing in the old domain name that was spelled wrong. Healing our anxiety. Oh, come on, learn how to spell or type. Healing our anxiety with natural and time-tested methods. Get rid of your intrusive panic attacks today. All right, so I mentioned panic attacks, I mentioned anxiety, I'm trying to paint a picture here for Google and seem natural and real at the same time. Home description. Uh, something like learn how to overcome your anxiety. Come on, why can't I spell this word? I E T Y. Come on, type. Okay, anxiety issues without harmful prescription drugs. Can't type, can't spell. Uh, I'm gonna change this. Learn how to overcome your anxiety issues, including nocturnal panic attacks, social anxiety, uh, other types of anxiety are there? And other panic attack uh, I'm trying to descriptively tell Google that this is about anxiety, panic attacks, and also and most importantly nocturnal panic attacks. So learn how to overcome your anxiety issues including nocturnal panic attacks, social anxiety, and other panic attack disorders. Boom, all right, that's our, that's our home title and home description, perfect. So let's save this, and let's go ahead and put a new theme on. Now, right now, I just wanna get this out of the default WordPress theme. Um, I don't care what it looks like at this point, I'm not setting up any silos, I'm not worried about the structure, all I'm doing is getting this off the default WordPress theme and putting up our first article okay so I changed the home title and the home description I'm going to optimize a uh, good long article that we got off iWriter in the last video um, to be about nocturnal panic attacks we're going to let it get indexed we're just going to see where it lands naturally hopefully the keyword is so easy it's like top 10 top 15 pages um, as soon as it gets indexed uh, so let's just activate this theme okay so now we have a different a different theme in the default WordPress. Let's go ahead and add a new post. All right, so let me hop back into iWriter and go grab our article. Uh, what is my password? Nope. Uh, Nope. Bingo. All right, so we got content this the other day. I've had some other articles written, well, one article written after that. I never downloaded it, so let me go grab it. Nocturnal panic attacks. Uh, download article. 
taking a look at it. All right, so if you remember, this was a nice, beefy article. Uh, I think I said it's 700 words. Um, cost me about twelve dollars and fifty cents to get off iWriter, and if I didn't like it, I could have just rejected it. But I did like it. It covered a lot of things. It covered what are nocturnal panic attacks, symptoms of nocturnal panic attacks, uh, who typically has them, uh, how long they last, what happens during them, their causes. All right, so this is a nice beefy article about nocturnal panic attacks, and the idea is that Google reads our home title, our home description, and comes and finds this article. It says, hey, this website is about anxiety, particularly nocturnal panic attacks. Let's rank it. Now, it's gonna have no links, it's gonna be brand new. We're just hoping it pops in the top 10, top 15 pages. Uh, if, it does, if it does, then we know we got a great keyword. Um, even if it doesn't, we'll send one or two PBN links and see where it lands after that. Um, it's a process, guys. We gotta see what Google gives us and, and take what it does give us. So let's get this sucker posted. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy all this. Sometimes the formatting does not carry over well into the WordPress article. Let's just see what it does. All right, not so bad. So my title. So I want my title here to be de-optimized. Look, when, when people, if you're looking at a real website, their title that they show on the website is always like something catchy to try to get people to read it. It's not keyword optimized, it's not whatever. So you wanna think of something catchy, because number one, people who visit your site are gonna read the title and either want to read the art, want to click the article and read it or not, depending on if you pull them in. So we want our URL structure and this title to be like that for Google. So it's gonna be something like, now I'm gonna mix this up. So our keyword is nocturnal, nocturnal panic attacks. What is that? It's a panic attack at night. So I'm gonna do something like nighttime panic attacks. The uh, nighttime panic attacks. The Okay, how about when sleeping? I'm trying to think of something that would draw people in. Nighttime panic attacks. How about nighttime panic attacks? Being scared to sleep. How about, no, no, we're going to change that. Nighttime panic attacks. When will morning come? <sighs> no, no, no. Nighttime panic attacks. When sleeping. Haha, <laughs> how this? Turning sleep into a nightmare. Ha! Perfect. Nighttime panic attacks. Turning sleep into a nightmare. All right, so that's gonna that's catchy. And nighttime panic attacks, nocturnal panic attack. It's telling Google this stuff's about nocturnal panic attacks. All right, but it's not over optimizing. So what do we want to hear? Some H1 tabs. Let's see. What are nocturnal panic attacks? And why do they happen to me? All right, we're going to make that an H a onezer. All right, so nocturnal panic attacks in the H one, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not crushing it with over optimization. Now, I didn't write this article, so I'm, I'm going to be very careful and read through it, and make sure that I'm not repeating nocturnal panic attacks a million times. It's in this H1 tag. It's the first line of this sentence. I probably want it in here one more time and that's it at the most. Hopefully it's not mentioned too many other times. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause the video and pull it out. Uh, if I find another spot where I pull it out, I'll show you what I change it to. All right, so again, the first paragraph here, my man Scott, although nocturnal panic attacks usually last for 10 minutes. So I'm going to, in the perp, in the, in order to de-optimize this, I'm just going to pull it. So although, I'm just going to say although 
these attacks. Okay, again, we got it in here. So you gotta be careful when you're buying these articles because you, you will be over optimized and not even know it. No, the symptoms, again, I'm just gonna pull out an nocturnal of. I'm gonna mix this up. The symptoms of nighttime panic attack. So I de optimize it a little bit, all right? All right, so I just did a control F to find how many times nocturnal panic attack was in my article. It's in there three times. We know about the first two, which I'm keeping one, two down here, okay? Studies suggest that 50 to 70 percent of people with panic disorder will experience nocturnal panic attacks. So I'm just going to remove panic, okay? Nocturnal attacks. All right? We'll experience at least one nocturnal attack. Panic, my bad. Wait, yes, no nocturnal attack. Studies suggest that between 50 to 7 percent of people with panic disorder will experience at least one nocturnal attack during their lifetime. Experts argue that some people whose subconscious is so reluctant to surrender power and relax are more prone to experience these type of nighttime, uh, these type of, let's just go back with attacks. People suffering from other types of mental disorders such as uh, people suffering from other types of health disorders are at higher risk as well. These disorders include uh, I don't know where this dude was going with this so I'm just going to pull it fix that okay how long they last one uh, let me do this again. All right, now six causes. All right. Uh, <sighs> panic attack in your sleep are causes. Or panic attacks in your sleep are caused. Getting that rid of that completely. Didn't make any sense. Changes again to nighttime. And just prone to tax. Alright, now it's in there four times. Uh, I, wanna, <laughs> I don't want to put nighttime in there again. But what I can do is do this. And we're three. So it's only in there three times. We were finally de-optimized. Be careful with that, guys, especially these days. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to add some more, you know, H1s, make it look a little bit prettier, and uh, get rid of the post-it. All right? All right. So I'm going to grab some images for uh, this post. Now, you don't want to just go here and, like, right-click and save them because Google can tell where they originally came from. I think that's what somebody told me once. Um, so what I do is I grab them with Jing, okay, I'll pull it up, I use this program called Jing, and I will snatch that photo. Um, of course, I always cite my image sources every single time. So I'm going to say panic uh, attacks in bed. All right, so I'm saving this, but what I'm doing here, guys, I'm going to create a new folder. The new folder name is going to be R Anxiety 
Make sure I spelled that right, because I can't spell anything correctly. And I'm going to save it in there, all right? That's what you want to do. So Google pull, when, when Google reads your image, it comes from your folder called Our Anxiety or something like that. Again, somebody smarter than me told me to do this once, and that's why I am doing it. All right, so I'm gonna grab uh, another image or two. I like that one. Um, who looks especially upset and miserable? Got nighttime panic attacks. Come on, give me something good here. All right, this guy looks pretty miserable. This will be just a little, little picky throw in there somewhere to bring up the text, break up the text. Effects, effects, I don't know. Even though his grammar is not my strong suit. Give me one more. One with somebody sleeping. No? No? Come on, I saw a good one at some point here. Some dude laying on his back. Not sleeping. Here we go. Why can't my man get some sleep? I will save this as nocturnal. Attacks. All right, so I'm gonna throw these in here. Uh, let's preview again. Uh, it doesn't really matter because this is not going to be my end theme. So, but let's just take a look at what it looks like now, where some pictures naturally come. All right. So if I'm reading this article, I'm going to want to see a picture pretty quickly. Let's throw it in here. Select some files. Our anxiety. And let's see how this does. To line right. Insert preview. All right, let's move it up a little bit. And now our alt text. When did I put that in? Cancel this out. Let me do this again. All right, title alt text. Nocturnal. Insert. Symptoms. Typical sufferers. Um, let's throw something here. No, let's not throw it there. Let's put it here. So I'm just trying to kind of de-optimize. I don't want everything. I don't want to repeat panic attacks, panic attacks, panic attacks. Um, let's preview that. All right, this is pretty decent here. All right. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to link out to at least one authority site. And how I do that? I just grab something in my post, like I did here, bipolar disorder. Go to web. <laughs> and this one looks good. It's a PR7, even though PR doesn't mean anything. It used to be a PR7. Where am I? So we'll link out to that. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to grab this domain and this last nocturnal panic attacks. I'm going to link it to myself. Okay, category. Types of panic attacks. Uh, I believe featured images on this theme don't show up. But let's use that. And I can't. 
cannot repeat attacks or panics again. I'm just sick of doing it from myself. Little screw what Google thinks of it. And I'm just going to say, uh, learn how to beat your anxiety. Set feature image. All right. Now, for this title and this description. So, we want to hit some keywords or some, some similar, I don't know, related keywords, I guess you can call them, but not nighttime panic attacks, or nocturnal, rather. So, we're going to search that, and we're split. Google shows us how to spell it. Okay. So nocturnal anxiety. Let's copy that, and I'm just gonna throw it in there. Uh, uh, let's try nighttime. Nighttime anxiety. Out of a deep sleep heart attack. Interesting. Okay, so the real other thing we've got nighttime attacks, nocturnal attacks. I'm just going to try to loosely use that. So nocturnal, instead of saying night, nocturnal panic attacks, nocturnal anxiety. I cannot spell or type. Internal anxiety resulting in panic attacks. What is my title up here? Nighttime panic attacks turning sleep into a nightmare. I like that. I want that in there. Okay, so I want my title to be eye catching in Google too. So I'm gonna go with some similar to what we did up here. Nighttime panic attacks turning sleep into a nightmare. So I'm gonna say nocturnal anxiety. Making sleep. Uh, making sleep almost impossible. Okay, so down here I'm going to say nocturnal, nocturnal panic. Okay, because I didn't put the main keyword in my title up here, I'm going to make sure I put it right here in the description. Nocturnal panic attacks. Panic attacks. Okay, let's switch this up to signs, symptoms, and keep capitalizing signs, symptoms, and causes of nocturnal panic attacks. Who suffers from them? Why they happen and what you can do to end your night time attacks for good. Signs, symptoms, and causes of nocturnal panic attacks. Who suffers from them? Uh, maybe like read about who suffers from them, why they happen, and what you can do to end your nighttime attacks for good. 
All right, so I loosely threw in some the keyword here and have a similar keyword here and a similar keyword here. So it should paint a pretty good freaking picture of what this website's about, Google. If it's not, you're a freaking moron. All right, so I'm going to publish this. Let's take a look at this category, types of panic attacks. Publish. All right, let's see how we did here. All right, that's the feature damage. She doesn't show up very well. Turn you sleep into a nightmare. Okay. So we got our nice first meaty article here, all right? It's a good beef, beefy article, nice little beefcake. Let's go clean up this crap here. Uh, dashboard, first thing you're gonna do is all posts, get rid of this bad boy, all pages, get rid of this bad boy. We're gonna set our menu. location menu one and for now we are just going to throw in the only category we got as well as the home page really let's see if it should populate the home page for me nope that's stupid Links, and we'll call this home, add that to the menu, save, um, widget, uh, I rip out this, I rip out this, I typically rip out this, and just go with that. All right, here it is guys, here's our first post on our website. Log header, that's not cool. Let me fix that. All right, I'm gonna fix this, but this is this is what we're gonna put out to Google. Let it get indexed naturally, and see what happens. It should be a couple days. If it doesn't get indexed in three or four days, maybe uh, a little bit longer. Probably, probably give it a week. And then if it doesn't get indexed, I will add a video and do a Google XML video uh, site map trick. I'll show you that if we need to do it. But that's it. So I'm put this out there. It's published. It's done. That's the end of this video. Hope it uh, showed you a little bit about on-page optimization, at least what I consider on-page optimization and what I do for my websites. Uh, check back with us for the next update in a couple days.